No makeup, messy hair, messy room, lots of stuff to do. Face down, ass up. That's the way she likes to. So what's up guys? I know I didn't do the dirty laundry week, but I meant to. And then stuff happened, and then I couldn't, and then I was over it. It's that time of year, before summer, where you just stop giving a fuck. Even if it's something important like this. And these are my last few vlogs before England. I'm gonna miss it so much. So this week we're doing a vlog that sort of follows the five people thread where we can do more than five if we want. Not all of them are going to be PSCers, but it's sort of the anonymous message you want to send to someone. Try to keep it chill. Keep it classy. I look like shit today, guys. It's awesome. A few of them will be obvious as to who I'm talking So a few of them will be obvious as to who I'm talking about, but shh. So person number one. I worry about you a lot more than I should. And I wish I knew why. You're such a talented person, and the fact that you let small things stop you breaks my heart. There's, there's this line that you refuse to cross, and I know that if you crossed it, you'd go so far and you'd be so happy. So stop trapping yourself and get out there. You're so worth it, and stop writing yourself off as if you're not, because it's only hurting you. Person number two. We have a weird relationship. At times, you're like a mentor, but in the past there's been this weird and uncomfortable feeling of you using me to fulfill something missing inside of you. And although I'm sure you know this, let me say it again. I love you, but I don't always know what I'm doing. I'm not a superhero, and I'm not a psychotherapist. I'm a teenage girl with some knowledge and enough confidence to make it sound like I know what I'm talking about, even though sometimes I don't and it only gets me into trouble. Person number three. You are the most misogynistic, frightening excuse for a human being I've ever encountered. And the fact that you added insult to injury by telling me something so fucking vile that I practically wanted to find you myself and beat you senseless? You should never have told me. Because at least then I wouldn't have had a reason to find you creepy. And I hope no girl ever makes the mistake of trusting you. Person number four? You never cease to make me think, cry, smile, your laugh, laugh, you're amazing, plain and simple. And I know you may not like me talking about how amazing you are because you don't believe it, but you're so freaking awesome it makes me jizz. So, I love you lots and lots. Person number five, we need to hang out. Like now. Person number six, I miss you a lot and I have no real way of contacting you and I wish you'd kind of come back into my life because it's lonely without you to talk to and vent and be real with. Number seven, I know there's been a lot of ups and downs in preparing for it but you're there so go enjoy it, have fun and take lots of pictures, get a tan and smile and go nuts and we all love and miss you and come back safe. Lots of you will know who that's too and I hope she sees this when she gets back. So. There's one more person, and so it doesn't mean that they're any more important or less important, but I only have two words. Only have two words for this person. Cavernous vagina. 